St. Mother Theodore Guerin arrived here on October 22nd of 1840. What they expected and had been promised was a convent, a school, and a chapel. What they found, however, was a log cabin where the priest lived and said mass. There was no convent and there certainly was no school. She came to a place that really was wilderness. It was forest. Uh, at one point, Mother Theodore said, uh, said actually of the chapel, she said the, uh, the livestock in France have better dwellings than the chapel where the, the Blessed Sacrament is kept. There are records of her saying the snow was inside on their bedding at night when the, when the weather was bad because, of course, nothing was airtight. Several years ago, some friends of the congregation built this replica of the original chapel for the congregation. And they used archival records to really replicate the chapel as much as they can. So it looks very much like the pictures that were sketched in Mother Theodore's day. <laughs> Ten years ago, on October 15th, she was made a saint. In those ten years, um, we've seen so many people come and um, get to know her and come to pray at her shrine. We're so fortunate to have so many of Mother Theodore's artifacts here in the shrine. Um, one of the most beautiful uh, pieces that we have really are her shoes. So they're called sabots. Um, they were her gardening shoes. We have her cross. We have her prayer books. Of course, the highlight of the shrine is the chapel where her remains are uh, in a very simple setting that people who live here, people who visit here will say, whenever I have a difficult decision to make, this is where I come. I come to be with Mother Theodore to, to pray, to draw on her strength in order to face what I'm facing in my life. What I think people really need to know is that she was just like you and me. She was not an extraordinary person in the sense that she had visions or she spoke in tongues or did any of those things. She just lived her life in the best way she knew how. To recall that she was able to hold on to such hope and such confidence in Providence in the face of trials really makes it um, more possible for those of us who are just stumbling along to call on that same sense of hope.